Hey, what's up guys? This is Alessio from Virtual Insanity FX and today we're gonna make this beautiful, beautiful black hole in After Effects. So yeah, it's pretty exciting. I really hope you guys enjoy the tutorial, so I think we can jump into it. Alright, before we set anything, we need to make sure that our project is set to 32 bit per channel. This is because we need to work with lights, glow and contrast mostly. You can change it from file, project settings and then go to color settings and change it from the drop down menu right here. Or alternatively, there is a shortcut by holding alt and clicking right here. You can just switch between 8, 16 and 32 bit per channel. So we're gonna set it to 32, we're gonna create our new composition and we're gonna name it black hole. We are going to set it to 9, 1920 per 1080 and 20 frames per second sounds okay and press okay. And here we have it, so we're gonna fit up to 100% on the screen and we need to create a solid in order to apply our first effect. So I'm gonna create a solid, we're gonna make it black and make comp sizes right and I'm gonna call it black hole solid and press OK. Now I'm using a shortcut to apply effects but you can always find them in effects and presets. So I'm gonna type fractal noise and here we have it right here and we're gonna drop it on the solid in our timeline or in our view it doesn't matter it's still the same thing so we're gonna drop it right there and this is the fun part we're gonna play with the settings first of all we need to set the fractal type and I'm gonna set the fractal type from basic to dynamic twist and we'll see why in a bit I'm gonna set the contrast up to 130 something like that and the brightness to a negative value, let's say minus 25, which is okay. And then let's go to the transform parameter and let's play with it a little bit. And I'm gonna change the scale from 100 to 120. And this is how it looks. Also while we're here, I'm gonna change the complexity from 6 to 11, just to make it a little bit more with details. Before we continue playing with the parameters and the settings of the fractal noise, we need to create the shape around, which is gonna be our black hole. So we need to create two masks. One to shape the outside of the black hole and another one, a smaller one in the middle, to make a hole. So we're gonna create a mask with our ellipse tool. We're gonna click in the middle, hold and shift control and draw it about here. And we release. This is gonna be the outer one and then we're gonna duplicate it and this is gonna be the second mask and we're gonna change the color of it to red let's say red just to make them different and this one I'm gonna make it yellow so the red one is the second mask it's gonna be the one in the middle I'm going to double click it again hold shift control and make it quite a bit smaller and there we go but we need to subtract this one and here we have it then I'm going to select both masks and press MM on the keyboard and I'm just going to play with the feathering a little bit until I get something that I like. And the second one I'm going to feathering quite a bit more, something like that. And here we go. We can collapse our layer and now we're going to add the twirl effect. Just type it in and here we have it, distort twirl. I'm just going to drag it onto our layer and here we have it. We're gonna set the angle up to up to 85, just when it looks right, with a nice angle. And the twirl radius, something like 35. You see, the more I, the more I turn it, the more the straighter goes back. So just a tiny bit. And here we go. We want to animate the rotation of the fractal noise, and this is the value but we can put like keyframes but we're gonna just alt click on the stopwatch and set an expression called time so i'm gonna set it to five not too fast let's see how it looks maybe it's a little bit too slow i want to change my composition settings the time the duration i want to put it to 
five seconds because that was way too long and I can go back and check it out the slower the more dramatic the effect is this is my point of view because if we set it to 10 I mean it looks really good yes but it's probably too fast maybe an average like let's say maybe 7.5 and it looks about right the next parameter that I want to animate is the offset turbulence which is this one and it will give us a really nice sliding effect and I'm gonna set a keyframe for this so I'm gonna go at the beginning of the timeline I'm gonna press my stopwatch and I'm gonna create a keyframe so I'm gonna press U on a keyboard to reveal the keyframe and I'm gonna move at the end of my timeline and I'm just gonna move this little widget down like right there I'm just gonna play it back and see how it looks it looks really really cool and I'm just gonna easy ease this keyframe by right click keyframe assistant and easy ease so it will be a little bit smoother and here we have it this is our first step into the black hole now we need to make it a little bit more interesting we need to give it color and some kind of effects so we're gonna duplicate our solid by pressing ctrl D on the keyboard and here we have it we have a new copy we're gonna press enter and we're going to rename it black hole outer and the other one I'm going to rename it main I'm going to put the outer one underneath and before I set the blending mode or changing the, the shape of it I'm just gonna go on the first one and press MM and change the size of the main one just by double click both of them and Ctrl shift and I'm gonna decrease it just a little bit and then I can go to our second one go to the mask I'm gonna hide this one or we can solo it so press M select this double click and I'm just gonna put it like a little big a little bit bigger and here we have it and we need to if we want to see them both we need to change our blending mode to add now I don't want to go through the whole details about the glow and the color vibrance and all that stuff so I created a preset just to speed it up a little bit and this is how it looks so I'm just gonna type edge and here we have it I'm gonna just drag and drop it into our layer and here we go so basically I have the, the color vibrance set to purple and uh, I'm using also the uni edge glow and it's not a free plugin but it's really really effective because it looks really really cool and it's really dynamic once I've done this I'm just gonna collapse them both I'm gonna turn them off so I can work a little bit better and let's keep working on our layers so I'm just gonna duplicate one more time my main one just pressing ctrl D I'm going to rename it rim I'm gonna press M selecting both shapes double click and I'm gonna scale it down quite a bit maybe we should put the resolution down a little bit so we can work a little bit better just gonna scale it down quite a bit let's say in the middle something like that and I'm gonna change the color to red of my color vibrance and I am also going to increase the middle one just to give a little bit of texture to our black hole and I'm going to decrease the opacity down to 50 55 maybe it looks all right it's gonna put down the resolution a little bit so we can scroll a little and it looks really cool next step of course is randomize the animations so we can change the fractal type to I don't know let's say progressive and we're gonna change the complexity I don't know let's say 15 I'm gonna change the time animation as well I'm gonna randomize that too I'm just gonna put it 6 also I'm going to change the offset turbulence as well so I'm gonna go to the end I'm gonna select it and see where it goes okay it goes really really far down and we're gonna just put it back up a little bit let's see how it looks all right last but not least we're gonna duplicate one more time and we're gonna rename this one inner we're gonna change the color to a really really bright green uh, a little bit more green and 
I'm going to change the fractal type to strings and this is how it looks. It looks really, really cool. I'm going to press M. I'm going to change the usual masks. I'm going to make it really small, this one. Like around there. And I'm going to scale down the middle one just a tiny bit because we want the hole anyway. So I'm going to put the other one out a bit. We are going to change the opacity up to 80%. We want it visible, this one. I'm going to scale down a bit and we're going to play it. Of course, we can always tweak our animation. So press twice U on a keyboard to reveal that. I'm just going to type three. I'm going to move it a little bit slower. I'm going to change the offset turbulence as well by selecting it. I'm just going to move it the other way this time, but a little bit closer. So let's play it back. That's really cool. I'm going to fit to 100%. I'm just going to scroll back. And now we're going to apply our edge glow, which is going to be in our outer one, in our rim, and in the inner ones. The main one, we're going to leave it as it is, because it looks alright. So I'm just going to grab it. This one already has it, so we're just going to turn it on. I'm going to put full resolution, so we can see it better. Just drag and drop it into the rim layer. But we need to get rid of the color vibrance that we applied before. So I'm going to select it and get rid of it. I'm just going to change the color to the bright red we had before. And the same thing for the edge glow. Here we go. We're going to decrease the radius up to 300 or something like that. And then we do the same thing with the inner one. So I'm just going to copy the edge glow from this one to the other one. Because we have already the color vibrance. I'm going to paste it. Change the color to green. I'm just going to decrease the radius as well, just a tiny bit, so I think it looks pretty good. Alright, what we need to do now is animate all the masks, so we can give the birth to this black hole. So we're going to select all the layers, I'm going to press M, so we can reveal the mask paths of all the layers. Then I'm going to select all the masks, one by one, and I'm going to click the stopwatch to create a keyframe at the first, at the beginning of the timeline. I'm just going to reset the resolution to off again, so I can work better. I'm just going to drag these keyframes to one second, and then I'm going to scale these masks down. So, double click. I'm going to scale them really, really small, one by one. Let's solo it. I'm going to select the red one, double click, and I'm going to scale it outwards, so they don't overlap. And then we can see this one coming to life. Let's switch to half resolution. One thing we can do, it's easier, is just copying the keyframes by selecting them, the first ones, and then selecting the masks underneath and press Ctrl V. And I'm gonna just do the same for the other ones. And let's unsolo this one. So now we should see the whole thing come into life. Just gonna put a full resolution hiding our guides before I'm gonna run a quick preview I just want to change some settings into the outer one basically I want to make the shape a little bit different so I'm gonna actually tweak the twist radius just to make it like this a little bit which is gonna affect just the middle part and also the angle just a tiny bit this way and also I forgot to change the color of the uniglow and I'm gonna make it blue something like that that looks pretty good so now we can run a fairly quick run preview so here we have it nice looks really really cool I really love it let's play one more time all right let's set it back to half resolution let's move this one back let's collapse all the layers selecting them all and collapse them so one last thing we can do is actually add some stars so i'm just going to right click create a new solid i'm going to make it white and i'm going to rename it stars i'm going to press ok and i'm going to move it below all the layers I'm going to use the CC star burst effect. I'm just going to drag it in here. And for this effect, I'm just going to really change the size of the stars 
to really small something like this and the speed because if we play it is really really fast which it looks cool but we don't really want that so much speed so i'm gonna put like a really small value even smaller than that i'm just gonna put like a really really small value here like 0 0.05 It looks about right. Let's make another run preview. And here we have our final results. Looks pretty cool. We can full screen it and play it back again. Of course, we can also make a lot of adjustments, changing settings in the fractal noise, in the trill, in the color vibrance, and in our glow. This tutorial was just to show you guys the potentials of the fractal noise. It's really a really powerful effect and you can do a lot of things with it. In fact, I'm planning to do a galaxy video tutorial, but I wanted to make it look like a little bit 3D. And for that tutorial, I'm going to probably use uh, different tools like Element 3D and other effects. All right, so that's all for now. And I really hope you guys enjoy the video like I did enjoy making it. Please consider to subscribe if you like it. Give it a thumbs up as well. Never hurt anybody. And I will thank you for that. Thank you for watching guys, this is Alessio from Virtual Insanity Effects and until next time, stay geek!